we know also with VO2 max, there is a trajectory in which people will decline if they're not active that we could calculate. If you have somebody who's 55 years old and their VO2 max is 23, well then you can calculate at 10% per decade when they will drop below 20 and be considered by Medicare as being disabled. So you could take someone who's my age, 54 years old, and say, hey, your VO2 max is here right now. If you continue living the way you do, by the time you're whatever, 75, 80, you're going to be in that zone where you cannot take care of yourself. And to me, you know, there's nothing more important to all of us because we know that we can improve our VO2 and then we can improve it to a point. And then we can, of course, slow that trajectory down. We don't want it to decline fast. We want it to decline more slowly. And there's no better, in my opinion, there's no better strategy than assessing somebody's VO2 for establishing a plan for longevity.